Right, so welcome to video four, where now we're gonna be talking about serving static files. So before I get started, um, what a serving file, a static file really is, it's just a file that doesn't have to be modified when it's sent to the user, it's just sent as what it is. So say you have a welcome page that's the same to everyone. That could be a static file, so there's no specific user data or things like that. And so the plugin to use for this is called Inert. And so Inert is basically a plugin that adds function, functionality to the response toolkit or um, H right here, it adds specifically, it adds a file method which you can use to serve up static files. And so to use this, of course, the first thing we have to do is install it. So if you come down to your terminal and just type in, or let me cancel the server real quick, and I just type in npm install at happy dash inert. And so now that it's downloaded, of course, if you remember how to register a plugin, um, I'm going to keep this one here, even though we're not going to be using it, just to show how you can add multiple. So let me make this an array. And then we will add in another object here. And what we are going to do is plug in, and we're going to require happy-inert, just like this. So now we can use it. And then, of course, I'm going to do control a K F to rearrange everything so it looks nice. Excellent. And so add a semicolon here. And so another thing you see is you can see people do this a lot. So you could also do const inert equals require and then at happy dash inert and then close this and then you can add that here. So you might see this as well. But it's basically the same thing. But so what we're going to do is, so this right here, where you see we're, we've just been returning strings, so saying hello world. When what If we want to, for example, what inert will allow us to do is return an HTML file that has hello world in it. So if I just go here and I just create a file, let's call it welcome.html, and then just a shortcut, you just press exclamation mark and enter, and you get all this, and we could just, in the body, let's just go h1 and then hello world and then maybe just to add something else let's do h2 this is a static file just so you know it's different and then let's go back to server and instead of returning hello world like this let's return this file and so you do it by like I said earlier the file method and so this is added to the response toolkit H that comes with inert and so what we want to do is we want to pass a location of this welcome.html so what we will do is just dot dash for the current directory that we're in and then welcome.html and so now if we run the server again so nodemon server.js and now if we open up our web browser refresh this and then let's go to the home page Hello world, this is a static file. So what is being served up from this route here is welcome.html. And of course to get, you are getting this static file. Now another thing that we can do is say we want to create a folder to house all our static content. So let's say I go here and I create a folder and I just call it static. What if we want to have all of our static data in this folder? So if I move welcome.html here, I can of course specify um, see can I just drag it yes so if I put all our static content in here what if I want to access that so of course I can just do dot dash static dash welcome HTML like this but another thing you can do is you can use um, options so options for a certain server route so we can to specify this location by default so what we would do is we would do options and then files and then from there we use relative to which will be the key, and then what it's relative to is we should use the module path. So if I do const path equals require path like this, then I can just do, or is it relative to path, and then I would do dot join. What I'm joining is the directory name and the location, which would be static. So what this is basically saying is where we are Anytime you go into this route, if you're looking for static methods with the file method, look for this location. So then we don't have to specify actually dot dash static. We could just do dot welcome HTML because we know everything is here. So let me see if it, it should give the same result that we had last time. So save this, open up the browser. And cool, you can see we still are getting the same thing. 
However, though, this would only work for this certain route here. This would not, for example, happen if we were also, say, in this route and we were returning another file. So we did like return h.file and then welcome.html. We would not be able to find that. But a way you can do if you want to serve them all from this location and not doing it for each file is you can configure this on just the server. And this is done with the ex in basically the exact same way. The only difference is instead of using, um, down here we used options, for the server what you use is the key routes. So up here we would specify where we're declaring our server, routes, routes plural, and then from there what we would do is we would add the files key again, and then pass relative to once more, and then do the exact same thing. So take this here, cut it, let me just, and paste it in here. And so now this will be doing the exact same thing. So then we can actually just get rid of this. And then let's see if this does the same thing, which it should. Go back here, refresh the page, and you can see we're still in that same location. So now something I'm going to do is something really cool that you can do with static files, and that'll be, so we've only been changing routes by the URL. So we've been going up in here and typing things like dash users or uh, things like dash location. We haven't actually been changing them from within the file, within the web page, which would be nice if you know you had the tabs up here and you could click to home, to users. And so to, you can do this functionality with inert. And so what we're going to be doing to do that is we're just going to use href tags within our welcome.html file that we made. So if I go to within welcome, I can change, um, let me just create href tags here and then I'll go over what I just did. Okay, so what I've done is I've just made a few routes. So you can see I made an href that takes you to home, which will be doing um, this route here. I've done one to location, which will link up with this path right here. And then I've done one with users, which will link up to here. And let's just get rid of this. And let's just, instead of, because right now we're redirecting to home, let's just return, um, let's do an h1. And let's say, users page just so we know that we're actually moving between these pages and so of course what I've done now is we're still serving this welcome to HTML file so let's see what happens if we do this so now let's go back to the home page and you can see we have home users and location and so if we click on this now you can see we're taking to the users page and if we go back and click home of course we're gonna stay here location we're on the location page so this is something of course that's very useful that you can do with a nerd and now, one of the last things I want to go over is the options for the h.file method. So I'm just going to create another route, another route again. Um, let me do a space here, add this comma, and let's of course just do what we did. Let me just copy this. And something we can do with h.file is we can download things. So say let's have a download page. Let's just call it download like this. And to make this actually a download, we can pass options in the form of an object into this method. And so one of the um, to make it an attachment, what you can do is you would do mode attachment like this. And then you can also change the name of the file when it's being downloaded. So we could change this to say, um, welcome download.html. So now if we go to this dot dash download page, what will happen is our welcome.html file will be downloaded into the user's um, default downloads folder. So let me go back to the web page. And now if we do dash downloads or not dash downloads you can see though that this was caught of course by our 404 error but if we do dash download you can see we've downloaded welcome download to HTML and this is the file right here so that's another pretty cool thing you can do and so to change it back so that it is no longer going to be downloaded you change it to its default mode and the default mode is inline so like this inline and then if we go back to our website, refresh, we're still on the lost page, but I do download, you can see we just are shown the file instead of downloading it. So it's just displaying this welcome file. And so now in our next video, now that we know how to serve static files, we're going to be working with form data. So instead of having this A references here, we can create, say, a form, if I could spell it, form like this fill out um, you know, input fields for your username, email, and then we're gonna handle that all on our server end. So we're not gonna be just using this method get, we're gonna be using post. So I'll see you in the next video.